收。Hey, what is up, my real fam? It's Queen the Babe, but you can call me Debbie. And either today's Valentine's Day or tomorrow Valentine's Day, whatever day you're watching this on is Valentine's Day or it's after Valentine's Day, basically. But that means it's time to give someone in your life a card, and like someone you really like a card in your life, a card in your life. So it can be really hard to figure out what to put in cards, but I think I figured out the perfect things and how to make the best card get the most effect out of people. So I'm be showing you like a nice little DIY for like getting a really nice like um original card and some things you can write on that card depending on the person I think if you need some help this is like you have 10 minutes before you're meeting your bae or your date or whatever this is gonna help you know what to write in the card so um yeah let's just get into the video and talk about bays and whatever now because I'm not a professional DIYer you're gonna have to look at my hands so what you're gonna need for a nice DIY card is two colors Preferably Valentine's Day-ish colors. Um, mine has um, a, a, a marker stain on the back. That's okay, let's not look at that. You get one that's like a nice light pink and maybe a red, but I don't have red, so let's use dark pink. So you're gonna need scissors as well, and my nose is itchy, I do not snort cocaine. My nose is just, um, 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 uh, anyways, moving on. Um, you're going to take your paper and your scissors and cut out a heart. Just like this, guys, okay? You're gonna get down, because you wanna make it look like an upside down booty, you know what I mean? Like, you wanna make it look like the perfect booty. Like, you know how booties, oh, and um, we'll fix this, don't worry. It's still a good heart. Basically kinda, oh, that's okay, we can fix this. Oh, look at that, perfect. Super cute. Then, this is your heart. You want to make it look like a booty, like you know the perfect booty, like, oh, marker stain. When they're upside down, like, you know, you gotta have the perfect booty, like the slim waist comes to a big booty. And you can either use this as a card itself and fold it in half and use that as a card. That's what I used to do when I was a child and I didn't really spend money on anything. You can just take this and give this to your bae. Perfect heart. They could read their nice card and how much you love them and everything. This is an example of one of the cards you can do. And then you can throw some glitter on it to make it more embellished, you know? But to take this to the next level, you gotta get a second piece of paper. This is getting advanced. You guys might want to pay attention now. Then you're gonna fold this light, lighter piece of paper in half. Then you're gonna take the heart you just made. Guys, this is where it gets serious. And you're gonna put it on the outside. Like that, you see? Then, um, let's find some glue or tape, whichever one works better. Um, you're gonna take your um, glue and you're going to look at my teddy bears in the corner. You're gonna put some glue on it inside the heart, you see? Guys, this is really advanced stuff. You might wanna pay attention. You don't wanna miss out on this event right here. Everything like that. Take it. Hey, what I need for no favors. Hey! No favors, okay? You wanna cover the inside and glue just like that. It's gonna look orange because the glue sticks like to make weird colors on like stuff. And then you're gonna just fold it in half and squeeze it down. You're gonna like, squeeze, 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 see? Squeeze, 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 squeeze. I'm gonna squeeze it a little bit. There, you got a nice card. See the cool thing about this one is when if they sit it on their dresser or something, when they open it, it will look just like a heart, just like this, you see? Now they got a nice hard cart, hard cart, card hearts, and they can just open it up like this and read it. And that's the DIY aspect of this video. It's really great. You can embellish it. You can like cut off the corners and add some like dimensions to it like this. See, it adds even more dimensions to it. So now when they open it, it's like a nice size. You got a nice empty writing space. The back is really cute and everything. I think I might just have to sit this on my dresser. This is cute, too cute, too cute. This is too cute not to put on my dresser. Like, perfect for that special someone like your bae, your mom, your dead something, dead hamster, um, morbid. Uh, uh, morbid? I don't know, maybe. Then also you could like take one of your teddy bears from when you were a young child and just sit them with the card. Even if it smells or looks bad or looks like it's been used, it still looks cute, you know? So that's one aspect of how you can have a great Valentine's Day with your bae. This next part is the best part. The store-bought card that has something already written inside of it, you know? Light-hearted, bright-hearted, and happy-hearted day. Here's hoping you get exactly what's heading your way. This is exactly what's heading your way, like head, head, 
get my joke, you get my joke. Maybe you're too young to get that view, get that um, comment. But if you don't, um, that's okay. But, you know, heading your way. So, who wants this basic stuff written inside their cards? I know I don't want to receive this on Valentine's Day. This is garbage. So, we're going to take this and improve it, okay? So, what you're going to do is you're going to get a pencil. Um, so, I can find mine. And you're going to go right over the cute stuff that someone they put in your card and just cross it out. You don't want none of that. You don't want none of that. And now I'm going to tell you better things to put inside of your card. This is perfect for any of those boys in your life who just, they bring upon a feeling upon you that does not make you happy, but instead it makes you angry and or they are a fuckboy. So this is what you can say to them. The hatred I feel every time you walk by, it just makes me want to cry. You're a fuckboy and you can't even deny, so I'm going to go with the better guy. Here's another one for those Toronto mans who like to call themselves the sweeter man or anyone who likes to call themselves the sweeter man or refer to themselves as the sweeter man. Okay, this is a good one for that. Don't tell me you're a sweeter man. All you talk about is getting bands. So I will do myself a favor and say goodbye. I could do greater. Now this is for one where you really want to be really straight up to the guy or mostly guys specifically that you really want to be straight up with and just be like, hey, like I want you, okay? This is good if like you're like, you'll get, I'm a baddie, but you can be my daddy. Now this one's good if you have siblings or if you're a parent and you finally want to tell your child. You were an accident. That is sure to make them feel loved. This one I, I would give to my sibling if I really didn't like them, even though I do, which I probably will. So what you write in it was, you were adopted. Too bad they regret it now. That's how I like to finish it off because I think that's just a great ending way to end, like telling someone they're adopted, you know? This one's another good one, just a nice little something. Roses are red, the color of my blood. Violets are blue, but they don't smell like blue. P.S. I love you. And then you just put a little heart at the end. Now you gotta sneak a fact into there. Almost two million people die from diarrhea each year. You're next. Love is a four letter word that makes me think of you, but so is hate. Now, this is probably my favorite. You are so bad and bougie. Now this is another very straight up with a lot of little rhyming patterns in here. Roses are red, I feel dead. Let's get some bread and I'll give you some head. Now if you're trying to be a meme lord or just be really meme you know, real funny like that, you could say, roses are red, violets are blue, catch me outside and be my boo. You know, how about that? How about that? Now this has my favorite if you're little like to be a little uh, saucy with your cards. Roses are okay, violets are fine, I'll be the six and you be the nine. Now this one's more of a fun, more of a punny fun, punny fun, funny pun. Roses are brown, violets brown, who shit in my garden? Another one for that man you just hate in your life. You're a fuck boy. Now if you really wanna make that girl in your life feel special, here's a good one. You look like a stripper, but you're my ballerina. That's sure to make any girl feel special and important. So that's all I have for you guys today in basically my Valentine's Day special. I hope you guys like this. And if you use any of the things I said or any of like my little quotes or Valentine's Day card things to put in, make sure you tell me about it and what the person said and how they reacted to your little Valentine's Day card and your note you put inside of it because I really want to know how they, what they think of um, your thought process and um, things. Don't tell them I told you to say that. Be, pretend you were creative and you came up with a new hero. But also, just so you guys know, this is not like 100% my idea. I did saw someone else do it, Kim Santos. Shout out. I watched her video that she came out with maybe like, I don't know, I'm uploading this like two days ago or like on Monday, February 13th or whatever today is. Um, so I'm going to link her video in the description and you guys should go over. And if anyone actually goes over, like I'm not saying I won't go over. I don't know if anyone's going to even watch this video. But if you go over there, make sure you comment the queen sent you or something like that. And subscribe because her channel is great and she does lots of videos. But yeah want to say that so I hope you guys enjoy this video um don't be offended it's a joke but yeah 
I will see you guys in my next video. Keep smiling, shining, and remember you don't need a crown to be royalty. Bye. Bye.